All right, so recently MIA 13 was released and a bunch of devices did receive the update. One of them is the Redmi K40, also known as the Poco F3 and the Mi 11X in India. Now the Redmi K20 Pro over here or the Mi 90 Pro is a two-year-old device. So it is not on the top list to receive MIA 13. So just like always, some developers have taken the matters into their own hands and they have ported MIUI 13 to the Redmi K20 Pro. Now this is an early build that we are looking at. A lot of things are not working and the performance is not up to the mark, but in this video, I will show you a quick tour on, around this particular ROM as to what is working, what is not working and how do you go ahead and install it. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, please join us on Telegram. We have more than, more than 1500 members over there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so this is not a skin or a theme. This is legit MIUI 13. As you can see over here, MIUI 13, 22.1.5. And this is a beta ROM, closed beta. So that is the reason you don't see any change log or anything of that sort over here, right? Now this does not come with Android 12, it comes with Android 11. The security patch over here is the 1st of December 2021. Of course, this is ported from another device. That is the reason you get the latest uh, security patch. It does say all the specifications properly. So that's good. Now the reason it says 6 GB plus 0 GB is because memory extension is not working on this particular ROM. That is another bug and uh, we have one more bug which is the major bug of the front camera not popping up. Right now the moment you boot into this particular ROM you will see that you have very very few applications. It's highly debloated but the complete MIUI experience is present minus one or two things here and there. For example if you swipe to the left you will see that there are these new widgets in app vault. They are of course Chinese in terms of looks and some things here and there but Yes, the full MIUI 13 experience is present. As you can see, these are new widgets over here. If you press and hold over here, you will get the widgets menu, which will take a couple of seconds to load. Okay, this time the widgets took a little longer than expected, but they are still loading. So as you can see, the whole widget look in MIUI 13 has changed, although you're not getting Android 12, but yes, you are getting these new widgets, which look great, very, very colorful, and they definitely add to the value. The animations in this particular port as well are pretty subtle. If you give the ROM half an hour to 45 minutes to settle down, then the UI experience is pretty smooth, pretty fluid works absolutely fine even if you go to the always on display the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely okay now let's quickly talk about the bugs over here the first bug is the camera it shows the miui camera app but the moment you open you will see that this is the gcam that they have included and it's a very very basic gcam version right the other thing is if you go to the front camera the front camera will not automatically pop up now you need to be rooted to use this particular rom I'll, I'll tell you what all needs to be done to install this particular rom so they the developers have added a particular app over here so if you click this the front camera will pop up you can then go to the camera application and the front camera will start working same thing will with face unlock as well and if you click this and click this it will go down so yes, camera is definitely a work in progress thing as far as this particular ROM is concerned. Other bug that I've noticed over here is uh, if you go to additional settings and memory extension, it shows zero gigabytes of extra RAM. So that I did state earlier as well, that is a bug. Now the UI is not at all laggy, but you won't find it as smooth as a big ROG ROM or the high stable 12.5.6 version, which we recently covered. Now understand this is a very, very early port and don't blame the developers for releasing something like this. We don't have a change log. We don't have anything. Now, if we talk about the app icon animations over here, if you have a look, they are present and they're working absolutely fine. You have this search bar at the bottom, which will take you to the Chinese browser because of course this is a China ROM is what we are talking about. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you still have the old control center UI. The new UI is not available because this port is from a very, very early version of MIUI 13. 
and uh, you know these swipe gestures and everything else is working fine as well yes i did run the benchmarks and we will talk about those as well in a bit now understand this is a rom which doesn't have safety net that passes play store certification is not present so you have to you know understand this is not a rom that you would want to use as a daily driver considering that oh this is mi 13 and i can use it as a daily driver on my device no but if you go to settings and you know you go to all the wallpaper and personalization you go to the library over here you will see that you have the molten glass wallpapers present and they work absolutely fine you have these crystallization wallpapers as well as you can see and this is a phone which comes with the amoled display so these wallpapers look really really nice even if you you know go ahead and double tap they grow on you they really really look nice and there is nothing wrong about that so the widgets are great the animations are present and the whole ui is smooth once you allow the rom to settle down if you go to settings you have you know a ton of other options now face unlock works only if you manually lift the camera using that particular apk and then show your face so not really intuitive but yeah it is present and it is working now the other thing is there is one more bug that i noticed if i connect to the 5 gigahertz wi-fi network it will connect just fine but it will disconnect after some time and then it will not reconnect till the time you reboot the device so you will have to rely on the 2.4 gigahertz network connectivity and there may be more bugs included in this particular rom because this is a very very early port but the good takeaway from this particular rom for k20 pro users is somebody has started porting it for you it will definitely become stable in two or three more builds and it will be usable so mii 13 on this device yes it's coming your way now let's talk about the installation process the installation process is a little complicated not really really very complicated of course you need to have more than 50 percent battery you need to have unlock bootloader you need to have twrp installed there are three files that you will need in order to install this particular rom first of all you will need the rom file you will need the Magisk APK and you will need the G apps. Now the install process for this ROM is pretty simple. I'm not showing the install process in this video because this is a very early port and it's not usable as a daily driver. But still, if you want to install it just to try MIUI 13 on your K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro, you just need to go to TWRP, flash the ROM, format data, reboot, and set up the device then go ahead and go to twrp and install magisk and once you've set up magisk install the miui g apps from magisk as a magisk module all the links are mentioned in the description it goes without saying that you should back up all your data you should have more than 50 percent battery and you should make sure that you've removed all the you know google accounts and everything else so one last thing that we are left to talk about is the performance numbers so if you go to gallery, the first thing that you will see is that this is the new updated gallery, which is a good thing. If we talk about the performance numbers, they are really disappointing. I will try this with Marissa kernel later. But for now, the average score was 151, 122 GIPS, which is really, really low. Although the CPU didn't throttle with Game Booster, 623 single core and 175 and multi core and 446 105. So the scores are nothing to write home about. This is just MIUI 13 on a K20 Pro, which you can try from an aesthetic point of view. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.